This is Sunny Boy from the Street Clean Loyal Show on YouTube. And I'm here with Dusty Vision TV, the homie kicking it. Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Let's jump right into it. I want to touch on a few things that we didn't really get to get to in our last interview and just a couple of things that have happened since you and I last talked. But uh, I want to get the elephant, you know, I want to talk about the elephant in the room, obviously, since the last time. Are you calling me fat, homie? Are you calling me <laughs> hey, fat? Uh, since the last time you were on the show, you, you left American Cholo. Um, in my opinion, yes. you guys were a great dynamic. Uh, so it was quite a shocker to me and I'm sure to a lot of American Cholo viewers. Um, I'd love to know your side of the story and, you know, why you decided to leave. Well, first and foremost, I want everybody to know I still watch the show. I still support them. Um, it's been coming for a while. Um, I had actually spoke to him maybe a year prior to that and told him that I, I thought that maybe he should be doing the podcast by himself, that he didn't need me and I would be in the background just helping but he was like, no, no, I want you there. Um, and then, like, I, like, I, I don't want to bad mouth, bad mouth them. I don't want anybody to think I am bad mouthing them. Um, we have a difference in opinion. Um, and I just thought it was time for me to walk away. I had been comp, comp I've been thinking about it for a while. And, um, I, I didn't have any intentions of starting my own channel because I had nothing to do with no bearing on it. It was just, uh, I wasn't comfortable with the format that we were doing. Uh, I wasn't comfortable with not having any kind of say so anymore. I wasn't, um, it got past the point of uh, me just helping him out. Was there one thing that just was like, this is it? Like, you don't have to get too specific, but you were like, all right, this is it. I'm, I'm done. Um, It's one thing when I feel a certain way. It's another when the fans feel a certain way. But when other people start getting involved that are not a fan, let's just say family, start getting involved, uh, it takes it to a whole different level. I, 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 I actually try to work it out and, um, Either he didn't hear me, he didn't want to acknowledge it, but he came to a point where I was like, okay, I'm done. And his response was, okay, I'll give you more airtime. But it wasn't about airtime. It was never about airtime. It was about um, common courtesy. Uh, you know, you, you guys see it play out inside the show. And it got to the point where I just wasn't going to have it anymore. And, um, you know, I, I like I said, I, I support John, his joke channel. Um, he doesn't feel the same way. Um, he doesn't want me to succeed. And, and that's cool. I'm not, you know what I mean? I don't know why he's upset so much, but uh, I just did my best, you know what I mean, to, to, defuse any kind of situation that might happen or arise and I needed to address it when I did and that's what happened. I just say, hey, that's it, I'm done. And no talking anymore. When I say when I said that word I was just, I was done. I was just, you know what I mean? There was no more no more conversation about it. And what I liked about your dynamic also, which kinda of made this a little bit harder to swallow, you know, when you did bounce was I liked the fact that for lack of better phrases, you, you were both from different bodies who used to, you know, war back in the day. And, you know, you guys came together for, for peace, you know, with this podcast and, you know, just unfortunately it just didn't, uh, it didn't pan out. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Like I said, I, I, I still watch the show. Mm -hmm. I still care about, you know, so it's kind of hard to walk away from 30,000 subscribers. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, I like to think, I know he doesn't think it, but I like to think I was part of that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it was hard to, hard to walk away. It was like, okay, 
I'm gonna walk away from everything that we built, and it was it was something that we built together. It wasn't just me. It wasn't just him, and it wasn't just Bobby. It was something we built together. Um, but uh, you know, and, and there was other things, other factors that um, made it even harder to walk away. You know, but like I said, it's uh, I, I wish him nothing, him and Bobby the best. You know what I mean? Yeah. If it uh, if it makes you feel better, and we'll, we'll jump away from this topic, but I want to end it with this. If it makes you feel any better, I kind of went through the same situation when I was started my YouTube journey a few years back. I jumped on, you know, with somebody and helped uh, this person build. <laughs> I'll keep it real, build uh, their following to where they got up to a significant amount of YouTube followers. But it wasn't mine, you know what I'm saying, and and. I feel now better looking in the rearview mirror, hindsight being 2020. I'm glad I started my YouTube channel because I have 25,000 subscribers. It took me, shit, almost two years to get 20, 25,000, but I guarantee you, and I've already seen your growth, I guarantee you will be right back to those 30,000 subscribers by the end of this year, dog. You are, this probably was the best thing that ever happened to you. I know that sounds crazy, but all the all the funds are going to go to you. I mean, you have full control, and there's no doubt that you're going to get to thirty thousand. You're already at like one point eight, and you have only been open for like a month, dog. <laughs> it, it, took you know, me, um, it took me a year to get to a thousand subscribers, homie. I had you guys helping me. I had all you guys helping me. Listen, um, you guys all all stepped up to the plate and promoted my channel and. I had a lot of support from you guys, you know, and that's something a lot of people don't get. You know, and that was, um, I think that was the biggest uh, step because as soon as like, you guys got on board, it was like, wow, I got a lot of support from you guys. Yeah, um, good. And you know what? It, it, it's not about the money. Um, if I never get monetized, I'm not tipping. It's, uh, it's about uh, the message. She said she want to see the city bus She don't want to ride the city bus Because she's new to the town I advise look for truth The ears are lost in the sound Brains are lost in the cloud Dead from all of the smoke That's the reason why the ostrich hides his head in the ground That's the reason why the monster even puts on a mask And we turn the city green to blend in with the grass The city scene made a crash I fell in love with it twice Had to tell her goodbye cause she fell in love with the night I couldn't keep up I tried to bring it down from the sky But the clouds were so nice that she took a nap for a while And when she woke up I finally had a kid And the lady bone told me he saw it the other day with the baby Ain't life crazy I think about it once in a while When it's cloudy outside and the sun goes None of these drugs do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point of hurting people that you're close to?